Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 7. A wooden crate of mass 20 kilograms is pulled in a straight line along a rough horizontal floor using a handle attached to the crate. The handle is inclined at an angle of alpha to the floor, as shown in figure one, where tan alpha equals three quarters. The tension in the handle is 40 newtons. The coefficient of friction between the crate and the floor is 0.14, and the crate is modeled as a particle, and the handle is modeled as a light rod. Using the model, we are gonna find the acceleration of the crate. So our first thing to do, as always with these kinds of questions, is put our forces onto the diagram. So downwards, we have the mass of the crate, the 20 times by gravity, G. We then have a reaction force to counteract this. To the left, we've got the force of friction, which is gonna be our coefficient of friction, 0.14 times by the reaction force R. Uh, to the right, we've just got that 40 newtons pulling up on the handle. A useful thing to do at this point is to put on which directions they're going in. Now, if you think of the direction of the force as a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, by basic trigonometry, we've now got that the vertical section will be 40 sine alpha and the horizontal section will be 40 cos alpha. So on that right hand side, we've got a force of 40 cos alpha pulling to the right and 40 sine alpha pulling upwards. We're also told that tan alpha equals three quarters. So it's a good idea at this point just to put down our sine and our cos, work out what they are. If you can't remember how to do this, think of a right angle triangle with our alpha in there. We're told that tan alpha is three quarters. So the opposite side must be three. The adjacent must be four. By Pythagoras' theorem, that gives us a hypotenuse of five. And so sine alpha must be three fifths and cos alpha equals four fifths. We're now ready to solve the problem. So we're gonna resolve vertically to find R. Upwards, the only forces acting are R itself and the 40 sine alpha coming from the handle. Downwards, we've got the 20 G. These must be equal to each other as the crate isn't moving up or down. We know what sine alpha is, we know what G is, Putting these in and rearranging gives us R equals 20 times 9.8 minus 40 times 3 fifths, which is 172 newtons. We can now use this to resolve horizontally. Now we know that our crate is accelerating, so we're going to use the formula F equals MA. The resultant force in the system is how much is going to the right minus everything to the left. So to the right, we've got the 40 cos alpha from the handle. We're taking away the left, which is our 0.14 R. This is all gonna be equal to the mass of 20 times by the acceleration, which we're trying to find. Substituting in cos alpha and R gives us 40 times four fifths minus 0.14 times 172 equals 20A. So 20A equals 7.92 and dividing both sides by 20, gives us an acceleration of 0 0.396 meters per second squared. The crate is now pushed along the same floor using the handle. The handle is again inclined at the same angle alpha to the floor, and the thrust in the handle is 40 newtons, as shown in figure two below. Explain briefly why the acceleration of the crate would now be less than the acceleration of the crate found in part A. So we've still got our 40 newtons, still coming in at the same angle. Our only difference now is it's being pushed, so we've got more force downwards compared to in the previous question where it was pulling and we had force coming up. So because the force is now pushing down, that's gonna mean our reaction force R will increase. The friction on the crate is equal to mu R, so the friction will also increase, and an increase in friction means a decrease in acceleration. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.